Hello guys and welcome back to whatever part this is of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode we started on this gym and caught this little bastard here. Hi coughing. And in this episode we're going to finish off this gym and maybe continue on to the next route. Not sure yet. Let me get my timer on screen. There we go. I have to apologize for the especially long delay in videos. Uh, uh, my, oh god. I failed. Anyway. My emulator decided now would be a great time to just not work anymore, so I tried everything I could think of, and finally I wound up exporting my save file, reinstalling the entire emulator, reinstalling no cash zoomer, and then restarting the game, and then transferring the save file. Yeah, it was a long and tedious process, but I managed to do it, so let's fight this person! Yeah, I know rendering issues. I think it's no cash zoomer and not the ROM. I'm not sure. I do love this music, however. I really wish the battle music was like a variant of that. Like, really, like, oriental music. Yay, a level 22 Haunter against my level 17. Oh no! I don't want to die! Oh, well. Sucker Punch always goes first, but only does damage as long as you're using a physical attack. Good thing is, though, Haunter has crap attack, and... Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and heal, just because I can, and hopefully he uses Curse. If he uses Sucker Punch, it's going to fail because I didn't attack him. And... haha, I failed. Fail. You fail more than me. Ow, my face. Yeah, that would be dangerous. I, I get another critical hit, really? That would be dangerous if Haunter had good attack power, but it's a physical attack, and Haunter's based in special attack, so... Yay, I win! And level, 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 yay, a level! Hooray. And as you can see, he gained three points into defense, so very soon, this thing of him losing a lot of his health will go away. No. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually played the emulator because, as I mentioned before, it no work good. No oh, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, as I mentioned before, my emulator no work good and me have restart stuff. <laughs> uh, sorry if you heard that snivel, I'm sort of a bit under the weather, but I figured I finally got the emulator up and running properly again, so I might as well record. So let's fight this guy! Or, you know... Oh, now I have to go back because he's blocking the... Oh, he's not blocking the path. I SHALL WIN! No, you won't, old man. Old woman? Oh, God. I SHALL WIN! Yeah, I, I know guys. Never again. I know. Now if you... Oh, pfft, wow. Now if you, you... Oh, fuck you. I was about to say, if you use spite, I will kill you. So seriously, if this doesn't kill him and he uses spite, I'm gonna kill him. Yay! I win! Even though I was gonna kill him anyway. Ah. Yeah, uh, those Mountain Blade videos I've been uploading are literally just pre-recordings that I've just g hadn't gotten around to uploading them, so I uploaded them all at once and scheduled them, so... Oh, please use Nightshade! Oh, fuck, and you. <sighs> so yeah, those are all videos I had already recorded, I just loaded them all en masse and scheduled them to release one day after another. I wanted to do something where I released Pokemon and Mountain Blade one a day, and then after I finished with Pokemon, I'd finally get back to Dark Souls. Ow, my face. Because I haven't recorded or even played Dark Souls in a while. It's because I'm actually, I've am actually i actually been moving around the bedrooms, and uh, once I get my new TV, I'll be able to record uh, console games again, so... The new TV is probably not going to come for at least another month, though, so do not expect to see Valkyria Chronicles anytime soon. Forge Tacular, if you're watching this, which I'm guessing you are, you've been watching almost all my videos now, except for the Mountain Blade ones, and if you have been watching the Mountain Blade ones, comment, damn it! Anyway, yes, uh, Forge Tacular, uh, Valkyria Chronicles is definitely my main LP once I get my TV up and running. Ooh, self-destruct! It's the best suicide move in the game! Well, second best suicide move in the game, but I can't use it in this gym because they're all ghost types. Hey, you're level 22 now! Awesome. Yay, Medium Martha's dead. 
Yeah, that was rather mean of me to say. Is she, is she the last one, actually? I think she is. Yes, yeah, she is. Time to go to the Pokemon Center and heal up! I will be right back, guys! Editing magic win! Anyway. Let's just try to not fall off the edge like I did last time. And we are gold! I'm going to go ahead and save it, and guess what? You guys get to watch. But, oh fuck, I forgot to save! <laughs> I fail! Yeah, truly bad, blah blah blah, result now blah blah blah, shadow person blah blah blah. Person is me, you're gonna help me reset level. But if I win, I'll reset level! You didn't think of that, did you, Morty? Anyway, Gym Leader 4, Morty, uses Ghost type Pokemon, and they can be a bitch. Starts off with a level 21 Ghastly. All of his Pokemon will know Nightshade, so coughing, uh, you better kill this thing fast. He will usually start off with Mean Look, which traps your Pokemon in battle. And if you actually watch the enemy, you'll know he did that to Ash twice, and it pissed him the fuck off. Slipping moved upstairs, but I don't care about that. And it's dead anyway. He's probably gonna come out with Haunter next. Yes! Awesome. Yep, Haunter is next, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to something faster. Hopefully he doesn't use Curse, because Curse would be annoying. Next is a level 21 Haunter! He will know Nightshade, Mean Look, probably Sucker Punch, and Nightshade. And... yep. Hang on, guys, one second. Ah, he used Curse, goddammit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, guys. What?! Just now! I'm recording, so please. Ugh, sorry guys, that was my moment. I can't cut it out because of all this. <laughs> Alright, now he's using Gengar, his most annoying one. Fantastic. There we are. <sighs> his Gengar is level 25, it's very fast, and its sprite looks like it's missing part of its teeth. It will know Hypnosis, Dream Eater, Shadow Ball, and I'm guessing Curse. Yeah, Shadow Ball is highly irritating. It's a very powerful Ghost-type attack that does special damage. As you can see, I'm not gonna kill it. This is this is gonna be fun. I don't have anything anything that's a remotely good special defensive tank. Anyway, bye bye. Uh, that was annoying. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I can get off two pursuits before he kills me. Really? He's faster than Gengar? I mean, he's not faster than Gengar? What? I call shenanigans! I call shenanigans of the epic proportions. That's bullshit. Ah. Uh. There's no way in hell Gengar is faster than uh, than uh, Scyther. Ever. Even three levels higher. I'm actually in a tough spot here. Alright, let's see if Coughing can withstand a uh, Shadow Ball. And if he can't withstand a Shadow Ball, I'm screwed. Coughing, you suck. Oh, this might be my first loss of the playthrough, actually, because I don't have any revives. Yes, I know. Part Psychic. I'm not even going to get a chance to do anything. Uh. Well, this was fun. You know, if I had gotten my egg hatched and the next Pokemon in my party, he wouldn't be able to spam Shadow Ball. Alright. If you could live through this one, then I could try to just keep using hyper, uh, any of my potions. Alright, looks like it's gonna have to be super potions. If I can get him to be paralyzed, then I might have a chance. Alright, and... Alright, Shadow Ball has 15 power points and he's used at least 4 so far, so I might have enough super potions to do this. Although each time it's gonna take 1 HP off. And if Shadow Ball does its status, then I'm screwed. 
I do have one hyper potion, however. Yes, I know, this is the cheap way to win. But I'm desperate to win. Come on, stay paralyzed, you son of a bitch. Alright, is it just me or is it doing more and more damage each time? It did like 51 before, then 52, then 57. Come on, don't kill me, you son of a bitch. Go down to 8 HP, go down to 8 HP. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, it's doing more each time. Can you please just stay paralyzed, stay paralyzed once. Of course not, that's the recording curse. Well... This fucking sucked. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you and your piece of shit, Gengar. I still think it's fucking bullshit that my Scyther's not faster. Uh, well, this sucks. It's actually the first time Morty has ever beaten me. And I mean that. That's the first time Morty has ever beaten me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do some off-screen training. I'm going to pause the recording here, and I will see you guys when I'm done leveling everyone up a bit. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright, guys. Uh, while I was grinding, I found a Tauros. And I figured he would be a very good ringer to have if I could just hit him. And, yeah, I did some damage to him, but that was mainly just reflex, so I'm like, huh. Wait a minute, this is a Tauros! Yeah, the only issue is that he only has normal type attack, so it would be just a good stopgate measure to Shadow Ball. I will not be actually using the Tauros, so it'll be much like the Ratata, where I just use them for, like, one gym. I don't even think of... Fuck you, Tauros. Now this is gonna be annoying, but I'm catching this bastard. I don't care what I have to do. If I don't have enough Pokeballs to catch this guy, I'm going to go fucking nuts. Really? By all means, throw me a scary face. Just keep doing that so you don't kill my Flaffy. Ugh, please catch him. I know Taurus is hard to catch, but please. Not even a bounce? Come on. It's like the paralysis isn't even doing anything to help me catch him. Come the fuck on! Seriously, I'm having a bad enough day as it is. Oh, come on! Hurry up! Only got seven of these left. I'm actually crossing my fingers now. Oh, I got two bounces, so maybe next time we'll cross both fingers and get four. Alright, both fingers crossed. Nah, that didn't do anything. Fuck you, Superstition. That Superstition is why I grow up my playoff beard. If you don't know what a playoff beard is, then you don't know hockey at all. Come on. Really? Is it this fucking hard to catch a Toro? Seriously. And now he's toying with me? Ah, come on. Cut the fuck on, seriously. I've had an easier time catching legendaries. You can actually just watch my Fire Red run for that. Snorlax, first Great Ball. Articuno, first Ultra Ball. Moltres only took, like, f 14 Ultra Balls. I think Zapdos took, like, 4. Well, if I do run out of Pokeballs, I'd like to get some experience for this. Just considering I only have 3 left now. Only one of which is a Pokeball, and it's not even bouncing anymore. Looks like I'm not going to catch him. Uh, don't tell me I started the recording again just for this shit. Oh, 
Oh, come on! Fucking game! Oh, I have three friend balls. I thought I only had one. I don't really care about making you my friend. Just stay in. I told you to stay in, you son of a bitch. And if only I had a timer ball, this would be perfect. I've, honest, this is the most trouble I've had catching any Pokemon ever. One bounce, really? If I don't catch you, I'm self-destructing. I will heal coughing to self-destruct them. The threat of self-destruction worked! Oh, oh, oh. oh, they almost gave me a massive heart attack. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Now, let's see, what is this asshole's name gonna be? I misspelled it! Oh, fuck me. Wrong button. Well, now that you guys knew what I was gonna type in, I have to find something different. How about... Oh god, if any kids are watching this and they say that this is what they named it to their parents, they're gonna ban my channel from YouTube so fast. Shithead, was transferred to box one. Oh yeah, this is where I was training. I don't care about you, youngster Joey. Uh, no, I don't know what you're saying at all. Why couldn't you have been that fisherman guy giving me the water stone? Uh, yeah, I trained him up one level. I'm going to train him up to level 21. You're going to go up to level 26. You're going to go up to level 24. You're staying steady at level 21 because I grinded you up to level 22 and my emulator crashed. So yeah, you don't get levels. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording again and I'll see you guys when I'm done training. And we're back from a cutaway and you may be wondering what we're doing in this creepy man's house. Well, um... Ah, some stuff has happened, and uh, after one day, a lot of frustration, a lot of emulator crashes, I stand, I am sitting here with my usual contempt for all of you, with the added wrinkle of having to walk home 20 minutes in the pouring rain, and having my Dunkin' Coffee pass pretty much straight through me. If any of you realize what TV show I'm ripping off when I say that, when I have my usual level of contempt for all of you, then you will receive 10 interwebs and a shout-out in the next episode. Anywho, um... Yes, you can see I did a good chunk of training, and we are renaming this guy because I'm falling in love with him very quickly. And he learns a move at level 29 that makes Execute completely obsolete because I did not get Execute because he's a grass type. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to let you know what it is, but I'm going to let you know what his new nickname is. His new name is Braxis. I was thinking of it while I was training him. Any who's old... Yeah, that makes Execute pretty much obsolete. Still gonna use him. I'm still gonna train him off-screen as well. But, uh, this is what my party looks like now. I'm going to buy... I used up a lot of healing items when I was doing this training. I'm gonna buy fresh waters because they're a lot cheaper than super potions. But, anyway... He now knows all of these. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know all of these. And his defense is at a whopping 54, tied for the best on my team. And Scyther, same exact way as before, just higher stats. 61 speed, hopefully be able to outspeed Gengar this time. Not sure, though. I only raised him one level, so... Or two, can't remember. Anywho, and now Tauros. I taught him Strength and Rock Tomb and Rock Smash, and he learns Payback at level 24, and he also learns Pursuit at level 19. So if you're having trouble with Morty, definitely consider picking up a Tauros if you can, because they, uh, being immune to Shadow Ball is what makes this guy really good. And as you can see, highest attack on the team by far. Um, second best defense. That's going to change once Coughing evolves. Pretty good special defense, and right now he's the second fastest on my team, second only, and not by far, to Scyther. So, that's actually pretty cool. 
I got a text! Who is that? Ah, uh, it's one of my friends. Uh, uh, I'll answer that off-screen. Anyway, uh, nothing much changed with Flaffy at all. And nothing much changed with Golvia. Just the levels. The egg's not any closer to the hatching, and I won't be able to use that egg until... that stupid fisherman Tully calls me. Anywho, so I'm gonna buy the potions off-screen, and then I'll meet you guys back at Ecruteak City. So I'll see you guys there. And we are back, and we are going to fight Morty, and, uh, to put this in perspective, where the heck did they go? Wrong one. There we are. We're going to move these up here. There we are. Fresh water heals 50 HP. Same as the super potion. Super, caution, super potion, I believe, I'm going to double check this now, actually, costs 550 Poké Dollars. The fresh water costs 20 uh, not 20, 200. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. So you can get two for less than the price of one, I believe. Nope, 700. Wow, I was right the f my first guess, actually. So you get three for less than the price of one. So it's definitely worthwhile to get those. Soda pops cost 100 extra for only six, 10 more healing points. And lemonades cost an extra 150 for a total of 80. So... It's time to finally beat Morty. Hmm, I thought someone just opened the basement door to come downstairs, but either way. We're about to defeat this smug bastard. And now we get to watch his monologue again. But this time, things are going to be different. You defeated me so easily with your Gengar last time. I realized I should have put the egg in the PC to grab a meat shield, but oh well. You and your blonde hair are going down today, Morty! That's right, I'm a higher level now. I'm all awesome and stuff. Okay, he has Lick, which is actually the weakest ghost type move in the game, but it's got a 20% chance or 25% chance to paralyze, so... Still dumb of him. Ah, me cracking my knuckles in triumph. That was easy. An easy 427 experience points as well. No. No. I want to keep three of my Pokemon completely fresh for Gengar. I've, jo I've got a plan to take care of him. A rough plan. It involves one of my Pokemon dying. Sacrificial pawns are needed! Okay, Hunter. What are you going to do? You're going to try to put me to sleep and dream eat me, but not happening. Thank goodness Hypnosis has such a low hit rate. I think it's 60%. Might as well just use uh, Sleep Powder. Alright, Gengar! The annoying one. Go Meat Shield! Or, you know, Flaffy, whichever you prefer. Uh, you're going to be so much more useful in the next gym. Yes! The entire point of the Meat Shield is to paralyze Gengar so I can attack first. You God! The drawback of that plan is it required them not to get a critical hit. Okay. So now that you're paralyzed, might as well do some damage. You're gonna die anyway, you might as well be useful. Oh, critical hit. <laughs> not too bad. Oh, sure. Last time when I absolutely needed that to happen, it didn't. But, you know, tried outlasting him. Alright, might as well use your citrus berry now while I've got my meat shield out. And my meat shield dies, and I knocked over an empty can of orange aid. I fail. If you don't know what orange aid is, it's orange flavored Arizona iced tea. Delicious. Of course, I can't switch to the dead one, but what I can switch to is the trump card, Braxis. Weren't expecting this, were ya? The only thing I can say about Taurus is I absolutely despise his battle and uh, battle back because it's just his back. There's not even tails. Unfortunately, the good thing about payback is that he would have had to try to damage me, but now he's gonna try to use, use hypnosis. And he, he can't move, so he's gonna use the hyper potion now. Yep, one hyper potion. Good thing he didn't use a full restore. I might have been screwed if he did. I'm actually quite interested to see what he's going to do now that um, Shadow Ball is not gonna be his option. And critical hit! Karmic payback! You can't tell, but I was actually miming punches when I did that. <laughs> yes, I know I'm a nerd. And his last is Haunter. 
And we're going to go with our starter because, you know, trying to play the somewhat like an anime character, he, an anime character would send out a starter to finish the fight. And this is his tougher haunter. I believe this one knows Sucker Punch, Nightshade, Curse, and Mean Look. I don't know, but he's not gonna can't get a chance. Yep, well, there's Mean Look. He's not getting. He's not going to get a chance. Oh my God, I cannot speak good. I'm just so excited that I get to destroy this guy this time. Yeah, you had more discipline than anyone else last battle. Yep, Nightshade, Mean Look, Sucker Punch, and my guess would be Curse. You know, if I was really lucky, I could have gotten him to take a nail to the face there, but... Oh well, I put a nail in Morty's coffin of dreaming to meet the legendary Pokémon. And now I am the one who is worthy! And I sent some money to Mommy. Yay. I don't think our potentials are so different. You seem to have something more than that. I received the Fog Badge, even though this chip was anything but foggy thanks to my emulator. Up to level 50, including trade at once, so able to use Surf, here's another thing, you take this with you, TM30! That's actually going to be useful for one of my future Pokémon, Shadow Ball. Causes damage, it may reduce special defense, it has power of 80. It ridicu it's ridiculously good against Go- um, not Ghost-types. Well, actually, it is good against Ghost-types, and Psychic-types, because it's very, very high, uh, damage, but most Psychic-types have decent special defense, so... That's actually a drawback of that. Now time to uh, actually check on my egg. Let's see, what's my egg like? Oh, the egg's not far away from hatching. Uh, that's probably gonna happen next episode, and then the Pokemon that hatches from this is going straight in the PC, because I won't have a use for them. It'll just free up a roster spot, really. Actually, keep you there. I want to try to keep my entire team along the same level. I do, however, for the next gym, want to get Flaffy to level 30, and Tauros to level 29. The rest of my Pokémon can stay around level 27-ish. Although it would be helpful if I can get Coughing up to level 29-ish or so, simply because he... The only good attack the next gym leader will have against him... He only has one good attack the next gym, gym leader will use, so that's nice. Sucks the next gym leader's TM sucks. But in order to get to the next gym leader, we need a certain HM, and we will get it from some very wonderful, uh, escorts, shall we say. Well, that's actually quite wrong. They're not actually escorts. They're known as kimono girls. But, you know, I'm going with stereotypes here, but that's for the next episode. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to me. And make sure to leave me a comment, guys. Sorry about the delay, but... What can you do when your emulator crashes 14,000 times? Anyway, take care, guys.